the regional civil engineer was making an annual inspection. He was not happy with having to set aside £100,000 a year for the repair of one structure, Ribblehead Viaduct. This conversation had taken place in 1978. Traffic began to fall off on the line and uh, there became little justification for it. The civil engineering department put forward several alternative schemes for the repair of the structure, which I believe was more than eight million. So the railway went forward with a closure proposal. The Friends of the Settle Carlisle line became a great part in the, in the fight. And English Heresies joined in and said uh, they would provide a grant of 40% of the cost of repairs or a million pound to get out of a tricky situation. The railway decided it'd be prudent to go with a trial. It was at that time that I was appointed to um, supervise the repairs. Basically, the main task was to stick the, the structure together in the most cost-effective manner that we could do. And we were all conscious of the fact that if we came up with an expensive situation, it wouldn't get done. Uh, if you look at this brickwork here, We'd priced out that the repairs to the structure would likely fall between two and three quarters and three and a quarter million pounds. The figure was found to be acceptable and basically they did what we'd suggested. The work did not start immediately but the line was reprieved. I'm very pleased in actual fact with the, the way in which uh, most things have stood up. I was delighted when somebody mentioned Queensbury Tunnel. As a Bradford man, I, I think you would find that people came from all over the country to, to ride their cycles up through something like that. It'd be good for Bradford, uh, it'd be good for Halifax. All the efforts of the Victorians who expended capital and men's lives on these valiant pieces of infrastructure, we can't just desert them by filling it in as a, as a whole and forgetting it. No, it's, that, that's not the right way. We've got to look for a way, a, a way of preserving the best of the old infrastructure and giving it a new life and a new purpose.